All right, so today I was chased by a chainsaw-wielding murderer. You heard me correct. So at our local park, we have a ghost walk that happens annually. And me and a couple other friends went to this ghost walk and go there, you know, you go there, there's a lot of people there, so you see people from class, and overall, it's pretty scary, so that we entered the place with the zombies and the ghosts at, like, what, 9.30, <laughs> and, uh, well, uh, we walked around, and me and my friend Mick Boltzy were brave enough to take the lead for multiple different sections in the ghost walk. So, for like five or the six of the seven or eight different sections, we took the lead. So, there were tunnels with strobe lights. There was creepy shacks that we walked through that had witches and hands and limbs and stuff off the roof. <clears throat> There's a place where a chainsaw wielding murderer is caged up, the one of the first, one of the few. And then, oh, what else? Uh, well, we're walking through and, uh, <clears throat> sorry, um, you know, to make ourselves feel, to make ourselves feel better, me and Mick Boltzy were sort of taunting the people there, so when we were walking by, we weren't really screaming and acting scared. We were, like, more so having a polite conversation with the zombies and the ghosts. So we'd say, hey, you look quite dapper today, or Mick Boltzy said, call me to one of the zombies who's dressed up. So uh, I remember I said to a... Zambi, uh, what was it? Oh, no, I said to a vampire, you look pretty, uh, something, you look pretty, uh, oh, yeah, o ominous and scary today. And I gave her the thumbs up, and she gave me the thumbs up and nodded her heads. And so, anyways, we didn't really, we weren't really scared by it, but... The strobe lights and the sounds, and there were parts in the strobe light tunnels where, like, a, oh, the, uh, the air would come out from air pockets, which was pretty creepy. Anyway, it wasn't creepy, sorry, it was really loud. Anyways, uh, I'll make a separate video on this one I'm about to bring up, but there are all these clowns all over the place, so... Uh, we were told that we were going to see a couple of clowns in there, and there was a couple of people dressed up as clowns. Anyways, when you're about to exit the events, um, you are confronted in the Joker's Slaughterhouse. Uh, and you walk through, there's nooses on the ground, and there's a bunch of fake blood, and limbs, and bodies, you know, just what you'd expect in a slaughterhouse. Anyways, then Saw, the guy, there's a movie about Saw, I haven't seen it, I'm never going to watch it. Anyways, a guy dressed up in a Saw costume comes out of a cage and starts to walk, walk towards you. And as soon as you're about to leave Joker Slaughterhouse, someone comes out and says, Welcome to Joker Slaughterhouse, and turns on the chainsaw, and he chases you around willy-nilly while you run. But... I did say a couple of the friends in our group screams like babies, very like like the ah, like that that kind of scream, you know, like the deathly defying like horror screams from like the vampire movies, you know, like I am gonna I give up honestly, I'm gonna do a Count Dracula impression, but it would suck. Anyways, I turned around and I said, "Well, that is creepy because he's wielding a chainsaw." That is making a loud noise. Obviously, the chainsaw doesn't have chains on it. And by law, if you don't sign the waiver, you're not allowed to be touched by the people or they're not allowed to make physical contact. So that made it a lot less scary. But still, 
you're having someone dressed up as the Joker chasing you wielding a chainsaw. So you don't have that happen to you every day. So I just turned around and I said, well, that's creepy. And I started to jog. And then I see my friend McBoltsy, and I'm like, since we have been together through the whole thing, taking the lead, because, you know, no one else wants to do it, turn around and say, are you there? He runs off like Shaggy from Scooby-Doo, just bolts out of there. And, um, I've never seen him run so fast in his life. And I ran after, I ran with him. Anyways, after that, we got hot chocolate at the place and around 10-ish, we were playing and locking each other inside vans while we were acting like zombies smashing on the windows outside. So anyways, it was overall a pretty cool, scary little ghost walk. I really want to take part in that in high school if like people do let you take part of it. Take part in it in high school. I also really want to set it up because you know, setups to Haunted House are pretty amazing. We did have a sort of like a harvest fest with the ha Halloween haunted house and I have sort of set it up. Uh, so, you know, we went through it and we were like, you look dapper today. And there was this one point where someone in an alien mask, a really cheesy alien mask, is supposed to jump out of a room at you. So what we did was uh, we knocked, well, what we wanted to do was knock on the door before they jumped out since we knew they were going to jump out. Since, you know, we so... We helped set up the haunted house. So anyways, tips for you going through haunted house. Act like you're not scared and compliment them. That's honestly what you do. By the way, the girl I said, you look ominous and creepy today and give her the thumbs up. She gave me the thumbs up back. So anyways, that was sort of a story about how I got chased by a chainsaw wielding murderer. Joker thingy. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, make sure to check out more videos by Mo Maximus. I should be uploading a gaming video tomorrow. Hopefully, I'm not really sure. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video and bye. Mwah, ha ha.